Welcome to the stream. Okay. So, just in case you're watching this on YouTube after the stream is done, you might need to skip a bit forward because it takes some time until the live streams always get started, you know. And, uh, yeah. Well, for now, today, the goal is quite simple. We have the new secret character, Agent Smith. I actually have to change the name of him. Oh, should I quickly do that? I could, I could just do that right away. You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll actually do that. Let me go to this, and then this, and then characters, and then Smith. There we go. Where is he? Doesn't he exist? What? Smith. Smith. Doesn't exist. Okay. Then maybe over here. Um. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Agent Smith. There we go. Save. Ooh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I have to look for something. There we go. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Match whole world world only. There's none. Okay, I assume this should work now. H hopefully, <laughs> max true weapons. Because I had a modification, so I gotta check if that modification is actually gone. Okay, it, it doesn't exist anymore. Well, that's really. I'm looking for something. Welcome to the cheddars that are already here. That sounds like I just called you a cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, cheese. Jesus. Um, hi, Sir Mac Macfer the sixty ninth. Well, that's an interesting name. Uh, so did it did it work? Agent Smith. Oh, perfect, perfect. So now we are playing Agent Smith. Quickly have to change the window here. There we go. There we go. Oh, I gotta be careful what I select there. Um, Nefs, I haven't checked in for a bit, been trying to get stuff on my own, crap, there are two secret characters I don't have. Yes. Is the update out? No. Uh, are you gonna put all the eggs on Smith? I will, I will do something different. What we'll do today is, Smith will farm on his own, okay? He'll entirely start fresh without any eggs on him, but he does have three eggs right now, just from playing. But we'll keep them, and the goal will just be that Agent Smith, he will farm his own eggs. Just quickly gotta do something. Ooh, the music might be a bit too loud. Let me just quickly tune this down a tad bit. There we go. Oh, I need the hotkey for this. Okay, I'm too lazy. And go over here. Go over here. Go there. Record. There we go. So let's just, just keep going. No. Wait, how do I record delays, keystroke? Well, I can't even I can't even set a toggle. So can I just like do this? Like I can just press spacebar a bunch of times. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, there we go. Stop recording. Now I press this a bunch of times. That, that, that did nothing. What? Why did it? Do ah. Okay. Let's not do that again. Let Let's not do that again. Um. Yep. 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 We'll not do that again. Uh, good evening, and welcome everyone. Uh, wait a second, I gotta change something. Can I change that? I can't. Yeah, because I'm still in the streaming setup pretty much. So, since we are live, you know, we'll obviously have the chat. Wait, where's the chat? There's the chat box, so you'll see yourself. And I'll do the recording, so in case I want to, in case I need to, I'll edit this video down. Um... Let's see. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Are you gonna put all the eggs in Smith? Oh yeah, we had that already. You need an auto clicker for this. Well, it, it depends. If you, if you, th that was like six hundred eggs that I just put in here, I'm not gonna click six hundred times. You know. I'm a, I'm a bit too lazy for that. Flashbang without the flash. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the idea is quite simple. You see. Agent Smith is dog shit, right? Like, look at this, right? Little HP has a very good starting weapon and stuff like this. The rest is really bad. So what we want to do is we want to farm X as fast as possible. And I'm actually about to release a new gold farming strategy. Uh, two of them. They are not really updates to the old ones. And instead they are meant to be... It, let's say you don't want to farm anymore. And you just want an infinite method, a lazy method. And the other one is if you want... It, I'll just show it to you, but it might be a bit difficult with this character. So the way it works is, 
You just go on a stage of your choosings. Um, I might actually just do it on the library. There we go. And you select a new arcana that pulls in everything, right? So there we go. Ah. Uh, oh, I might die here. Oh, I didn't even consider that. Got your Mari. Perfect. This is exactly what you want. And... Well, you know, usually you wouldn't do this with a character that is this weak. Ooh, how do I do this? I didn't even think about this, if I can do this. Oh... You know, if you would play any other character that is not this character, this would be a lot easier. Like, a lot, a lot easier. I guess all I need is just a little bit of... Ooh, careful. I just need a little bit of garlic, right? And... Uh, let's go for garlic. Song of Mana is also a good one. There we go. And I, I still have Curse active, I just realized. Oh, you don't want to have Curse active for this. There we go. The cats, could you please start fighting? That would be really amazing. I would love you if you could do this. Okay. You know, you know, the, the strategy works a lot better if you play a, like a normal character, right? So what you do is you just spawn them in, you instantly kill them, and that's it. But I guess we are stuck with just normally farming eggs. And I guess we just do this on the bone zone. Right? Right? I, I would say so. Yeah, I would... Well, we could also just go on Moongolo. I don't think he can do that. Like, he is so weak. And this will be the difficult part about this entire thing. He's so bad. Wow. Wow. Okay, there we go. So, I don't need anything of that, so I'll just use some banishes on this. And... I have advice to go for Bone. But I'll go for Cherry Bomb instead. It costs you 1k, you know, but you get a proper weapon. Oh! I think I'll try out the new weapon if this works for this. Like, in theory, it should work for it really well, but... Did I just get a bone offered? Really? Okay, thank you. In theory, it, work, it should work really well, but it is, depends on how it turns out to be in the end, you know. And I need to do a lot of testing with the update stuff that we got here either way, so let's do that. Uh, fire wand. Oh, what weapon do I replace? That's a very good question right now. Well, I just realized I can't even get Ferracci anymore, so it doesn't work what I'm doing there. Oh. Oh, this character will be so annoying. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. That, that, that will be very annoying to do. Oh my god. So I could just play, obviously, I could just play another character and then I put the X on the Mr. Smith here. The Agent Smith. But I, I don't want to do that, right? We want to start from scratch. Do it from there. We don't want Pijon. We don't want anything here, so I'll just ban- Oh my god, I got stuck. I'll just banish the stuff, and we'll just do the basic farming strategy. I'm not a big fan of Moongolo. It, it's like, eh, eh, I fall asleep if I do that. So, yeah, I, I really need to do something. Mm. New character really slaps. I agree that uh, Minna slaps. Minna is, is quite something. Uh, Vandalier, there we go. So the nice part about this character is, since he starts with Vandalier, if you get the egg count high enough, then he will just have, you know... The Vandalier will be permanently up. And don't get confused with the circle that you see here. The circle is just an indicator where it's targeting. It has nothing to do with the area. So if you get a ton of area, you will just shoot the balls on the... Ooh. Oh, they are both really good. Let's get this. You'll just shoot the balls on the entire screen. It's it's quite insane. It's really nuts. And my goal is, I, want to, like, I wanted to actually swap to Red Death for this. Because Red Death starts with an Evolved Weapon that can just clear the entire run on its own if you have enough eggs. So no longer Pugnala, instead Red Death. But then, you know, I got the Vandalier, the character with... Well, it's Agent Smith, you know, you gotta go for him. No, but for real, I think you all you need to do later on if you want to farm gold with him is... You go on the stage, you stand there, you get Gati Amari, and after this you, you just don't do anything anymore. That's it. Uh, Gati Amari is still needed for the gold drops that happen. I wonder if you could also just go for a Tracked Orb and soak everything in. Like, that would be even easier to do. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So every single level up that we have, we get an insane amount of bonus stats. Oh, wow. Well, that's not good. Huh, I, I kind of forgot how difficult it is in the beginning to farm this. Oh, we might actually need to go to Moongolo. Yeah, there, there's no way I survive this, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hi, Vex. <laughs> okay. Awesome content. I'm from Germany, too. Uh, when is the update? It's tomorrow. Hi there. Yeah, th that was... I'm... Huh, I thought we could just, you know, play together, have a bit of fun here and do this, but, um... Yeah, it's it's starting to become a bit, uh, like, um... Hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay. So I think on this stage here, you don't actually want to have the Disco of Gold. Because it does very little for you. And... Ooh, ah. Uh, dude, these jellyfish can actually kill me. Okay, so what do we need? Do I want to have Death Spiral? No, I, oh, you just need, yeah, okay, Clock Lancer, there we go. And then we want to have, I guess let's, let's go for Whip. Ah, wait, but that's a double evolution, I don't want that. Yeah, let's go for Duplicator, let's go for you, let's go for you. I don't need you. Uh, what else do we need, what else do we need up here? Do I need anything of that? I mean, I can just take this, I can take this. I don't care too much about Brazer. But I still need to level up, that's a given. I guess I'll get the bonus gold, because why not? Anything else? Crown? Oh, crown could be good. Just a little bit of bonus experience. And I guess I also want to have the wings here. And then the question is, do I... Can I actually evolve this weapon? No, I don't think so. I can't evolve the whip. Because it's a double evolution, you don't get enough chests for that. Hmm. I kind of hope this would be a lot easier. I, gotta be honest. Uh, lightning ring? Oh, overall very solid. I forgot how annoying it is to start out as a fresh character, if you want to put eggs on them. Um, yeah, just a tad bit annoying. Hey, we already have 300 gold, you know. That's one... Oh my god. That's 3% of what we need. Why are these so tanky? I have a very bad feeling about this. I, I gotta be honest. Like a really, really bad feeling. I might even need to do something super stupid where I just, you know, actually grind out gold, legitimately, on a normal map or so. Oh my god. Is there no better way than this? <clears throat> like, the biggest issue is just experience. Okay, we have X. X is a very good one. I think I'll just focus on Vandalier and hope for the best that this can carry me. Oh, oh no. Do you think the full game will release this year? I, my personal thought is, he will... There are two possibilities here. One, he will extend the roadmap again. Two, instead... Oh, I'm stupid. I could have just went for Clock Lancet, right? Oh, let's give that a try. That could be interesting. Yeah, let's give this a try. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, not, not random. Um, so either he will release the game and then hopefully continue, or, like, you know, just afterwards, or he, what he might also do is, like, the last time he had a roadmap, right, and he extended it again. And I wonder if he thinks it will be worth it to just continue. Where, the same with Terraria, you know, where it just kept going and going and going and going and going forever. Or, well, he, he doesn't want to. You know, that's sure. But <clears throat> according to the roadmap, it will be finished this year. Because there's not a lot left. In fact, there's very little left. I think only one character or so. Mm. Eh, sure. Why not? Let's take it. Viable DLC? I would be a huge fan of that. Hi, Maximus. Welcome. Dude. This is... I don't know. I expected this to be painful, but I didn't think it would be this painful. And I don't even know why I, I thought it wouldn't be this painful. This is the beta, yes. How is Agent Smith? Agent Smith is doing good. He's just missing a lot of eggs, you know. Oh my god, he can't even kill the gold bells there. The, the little pots. The pots of greed. Okay. Um, I honestly just feel like doing one run on Pugnala and putting all the eggs on him afterwards. Because this will take ages to do. Nah, this will take days. I don't think this makes a lot of sense. 
So what is the theme besides the starting weapon? He gains might, speed, duration, area, cooldown, luck and regeneration per level up that he has. Okay, you know what? Let's do it on hurry mode so I won't get that much gold. Yeah, that is better. Let's do it on hurry mode. Um, there we go. Do I care about Clock Lancet? Mm, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes. Oh. Oh, I just thought about something. Okay, let's let's try let's try out a new build. Got Yamari, very good. There we go. Um banish. And guns. And whip. And whip. Oh my god. <laughs> Stone mass, very nice. Dude, that's a tornado. That is straight up a tornado. So we'll do, um, uh, uh, how's it called? Hurry mode, rush here. 15 minutes of gold. That is the gold that our little ghosty boy gets to do everything. And yeah, th that's just it. From then on, I will just play him. Uh, where's the ring? Where's the ring? Where's the ring? Oh, there it is, over there. Nice. Slap, 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 slap. Empty tome, very good. I need that. Um, I don't want spinach. I need hollow heart, is very important. And I need a little dagger. The counterpart to the whip. Uh, spinach, I don't care about any of those. Let's go. Uh, Cat Lapador, very good. Don't you love it when the guardian is attacking you and you just kill him? Okay, Fiera. I might need to use a ton of banishes here, overall. I have no proper plan right now what I need to go for. I only know it's Tiragisu, it's the golden thing, and it's Hollow Heart. Wait, that is the entire rest. I just counted everything. Okay, smart decks. Very smart decks. Um, there we go. There we go. Oh, Skullomaniac, I would usually take that. I guess it doesn't fit anymore with Hollow Heart. No, wait, I don't even take that. What am I saying? There's the Ragisu, there's the guns, there's King Bible, goodbye. There is Cross, I don't need that. Clock Lancet, I'll need in the future. Mm, Clover, I don't need that. Rune Tracer, I don't need that. There's guns, there's Pomerola. Did I already banish that stuff that I need? The Hollow Heart. There's actually a good chance I did that. I, that frequently happens to me. There it is. Okay, so now I only need... Hollow Heart, Stone Mask, Empty Tome. Oh, the, the other super rare one. Okay, Lightning Ring is for the future. So let's banish Wings. Let's banish Duplicator. Let's banish the Garlic. There it is. Okay, 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 let's go. Nice. So where is the ring? Where is the ring? Let's wait for the arrow. Okay, it's down there. There it is. Nice. I gotta say, the weapon is really amazing on this character. But if you have a ton of cooldown reduction and area, it, it's just straight up amazing. Do you need Toasty Unlock to get Smith? Someone wrote that. I don't know if it's the case. I can't, but I can't, I can't check it. I can reset the game. But, you know, I am not really in the mood for that. Did I just mess something up? Oh my god, I'm so... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did mess something up. Good that I talked about that, that I need that, by the way. <laughs> I I don't know. I, I don't know. Some days are just different than others. Uh, then we have X. Let's start banishing. Banishing is the only efficient method to do this, pretty much. Uh, your laughing is annoying, just saying. I mean, like... I don't know why people think they are so important. You don't have to stay here. Like, no one needs you. I I'm just saying, like, I don't mind, of course, you're entitled to your opinion, but I'm just saying it doesn't matter. You don't have to stay here, just saying. There are a lot of other streams and people here. An update every two weeks or so is... Or so, Evil Dra Drago Wolf? What is Evil Drago Wolf? But yeah, it used to be every single week, and then now because of more content, you know, uh, it takes a bit longer, but yeah. 
There we go, scent of water. Uh, now, the thing is, I don't care if someone doesn't like something, you know, I'm totally fine with that. Give the video a dislike, give the livestream a dislike, I don't care if that's worthy for you. It's it's just, like, like, how important do you think that you are, that you write that in the chat? Like, I couldn't care less what you think about me. And th this is the thing, you know. If it's something that has to do with opinions, sure. But that, that is similar to going on to someone's videos or streams where they have a vlog. And then you tell them, dude, don't show your face, you're ugly. Wh who do you think you are? I, I'm not entirely sure what's going through the mind of some people. It's a bit like the entitled Karens that you have, you know, in the restaurant that think the entire world resolves around them. It, 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 it's I, I don't fully understand that. It's, it's also not that it makes me mad or so. What actually makes me mad is this belief that someone is so important. Well, I guess mad is also overshooting. Oh my god. That, there we go. And... So I have both the double weapons, so all I need now is Gatia Mari, pretty much. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Just ignore attention seekers? No, 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 I obviously, like, that is totally fine. Like, the thing is, if someone really annoys me or bothers me, there's someone who constantly calls out that I apparently, um... I, I don't know what he said I'm doing, clickbait content and, uh, uh, stealing other videos, and I'm like... This dude wrote, like, 11 comments over two months or so, or over a month. I'm like, what the, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, I, I just saw that recently, and I just blocked him from the channel, you know? I don't mind that, it doesn't bother me. I'm just blown away by what some people do. It's like, if I would, would be bothered by something, I would just say, okay, and goodbye, I unsubscribe, or I don't watch the person anymore. That's how I would do it. You know, and this is the part that amazes me, or infuriates me, that someone would go that far. Uh, there we go. Whip, whip, whip. <clears throat> so what am I missing? Oh yeah, cats. What am I missing down here? Empty toe. Okay. Let's banish the wings. Let's banish... No, I, w I might need to take that later on. Uh, King Bible. And the thing is my voice changes very quickly if I talk about something and it sounds like I'm way more mad than I am about something it, I, I think it's similar to the laughing. Okay, that's actually ridiculous that this is like it's, it's about this topic But you see how I often laugh about things that people wouldn't laugh about It's just that I it, it, Like a lot of the stuff is exaggerated for me, but like not in an intentional way. That's just how I am and it's the same thing if I see something that bothers me. It sounds like I'm super mad, but I'm actually not mad. I just start talking, and that is what happens then. Uh, da -da -da -da. Whip, there we go. Uh, how are you clickbaiting and stealing uh, videos if you're streaming? No, he just wrote it in general. I think there, there, there was one Asmongold video that I reviewed, and I think since then it started. Like, where he had his first toasty run or so, or where he got level 100 that I reviewed, and that's where this started, and it kept going. Like, I'm pretty sure the dude was memeing to some extent, but at the same time, I'm like, everything has its limits, you know? Because you never know if someone is serious or not. Okay, we have Empty Tome. Amazing. And whip, there we go, and... So, yeah, cats still. Cats, cats, cats. Dude, I, I, I feel like I have everything banned. There we go, finally. Okay, stone mass, there we go. And the tome, and the tome. Got your Mari. By the way, sorry if I'm missing the messages that some people write. It, it's just, you know, I want to get this done with, and then we want to play the new character. With some egg count starting, not just having nothing. Because the zero was just too painful. I would do this on my own as a fun challenge, but here it's just like. Oh. Oh. Oh, do you want to die? Yeah, on my own I would do the challenge, but I feel like for the stream it's a bit too annoying to start with zero. And, yet, you know, then you try to get all the eggs. Because we would get like one or two eggs per run. You, you still exist? Impressive. How are you still alive? Dude's getting slapped left and right and still continues. Okay, there we go. The Gatia Mari had to come in. 
Uh, but I think you're awesome, it's just my opinion. Well, thank you, Andy Fox. I mean, it's not about, like, I'm, I'm not talking about that, obviously, to say then, oh my god, yeah, please give me confirmation. There are just certain things where I'm dumbfounded when I read some stuff, you know? Where it's like, uh, uh, yeah, acting as the main character a bit much, you know? Like, tune it down a bit. But there are other things where statements are made, not, but not by myself, right? I'm just talking about when I read first stuff on Reddit. There are statements made and, you know, the, the, the goal is quite clear. And that person takes this out of context, uses it as a general statement and applies it to other things like, yes, you are not wrong, you're right if you apply this to the scenario you just said, but what has this to do with anything, right? Oops, did I just went past this? There we go. Oh, and chat, if you want to, you're free to, um... You're free to just, if, if someone has a question or anything, you're free to uh, reply to people, right? Because I won't see them most of the times. I'm always afraid of the cat stealing my eggs. Oh, they don't steal your eggs. Unless this was a joke, because... Wait, no, cats don't eat eggs. They don't steal your eggs, don't worry. Oh, oh, ran past it, there we go. Okay, now it's time to go farm. There we go. Let's wait for a bit. Did I steal my egg? No, he just didn't die yet. Oh, is, are my guns maxed out? Yeah, they are. Perfect. Oh, my game starts lagging. With so much screen clutter, it's hard to see anything. Yeah, I was actually thinking about just removing the clouds, the fighting clouds of the cats out of the game. And also removing the gold coins. Because I don't need to see a million gold coins flying towards me. And the cloud is also just, like, way too much. It's overkill. And maybe one day I'll do that. How many eggs do you have? I think it's around 4,400, if I'm not mistaken. Right now on Pugnala. But I also kind of stopped farming, uh, pretty much the time, why did I get Empty Tome? Why did I get Empty Tome? Oh, I was so much in the character of getting Empty Tome. So at ne negative 90% cooldown reduction, it's maxed out, and after that you don't have to continue. And pretty much the moment I hit that point, I kind of lost interest to continue. Duh, of course it will lag. It didn't lag in the past, and I think something about this update changed. Because it's right now quite bad. Like, if I press tab to slow this down, watch this. <clears throat> there we go. Each second is around two seconds. That is quite significant. Because this is just a starting point. Oh no, the stalker is coming. Four pounds? No, that costs like two pounds, I'm pretty sure, if you're from the UK. Wait, tap slows down the game. It doesn't slow down the game, but if it's lagging, then it's... Oh, wait, did the guy die? Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice, thank you. Wait, no, that will... No, it's fine. Um, so, let's say, for example, the game is supposed to run at 60 FPS, because your screen is 60 FPS, and now it lags, and goes down to 30 FPS, then with a half the speed of the game, so it's fluent again. Boy, oh boy, that's some serious chess gold. Wow. Wait, why did I... Dex, you are an idiot. You are straight up an idiot. Really? Well, Firachi is next, sure, it's fine. It's four dollars, so it wouldn't be like four pounds. No, 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 it's uh, three dollars, it's two pounds, and it's two euro thirty. Unless you don't talk about British pounds. I don't know if there are multiple pounds in the world. Oh yeah, right, I forgot about you. The stalker's still here. Okay. I really hope it will be applied because it makes, like this looks amazing, right? I think everyone agrees. This silver X looks amazing. And then you have this purple pile of purple. Wait, is the stalker still there? What? Wait, 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 wait. Doesn't he disappear after minute 11? What? Wait, what? what, 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 what? <laughs> Don't tell me he will tickle my butt the entire game long now. And something bugged or so, and I skipped like a second. 
somehow, magically. Is he taking damage? Let me turn on the damage numbers. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. I, I can't max out weapons because I don't want to evolve them. Could you, could you, yeah, there we go. Let me turn on damage numbers if he takes damage. No. Where is he? Now he's gone. What? That was like 11 minutes 20 or 30 or so. Okay, that was the wrong chest. Uh, that, was, that was a bit weird. That was a bit weird. Maybe he changed the stalkers. Yeah, I actually also believe so. Every two minutes attract all standard? No. Um, I actually want to have something new. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. The beninning. Beninning. There we go. Uh, so this adds free amount to your main weapon. Oh, did I pick this too early, maybe? No, I'm pretty sure this will still work. It adds free amount to your main weapon, and this exceeds the max amount that you can have in the game. Which is amazing, you know? Are you sure that the stalkers always need to be killed everywhere, or just on, um... Or just on the new stage? Because there they are all really weird, and it's like a different stalker, right? It's a super slow one. Uh, can we all agree the price for Vampire Survivors practically giving it away? Yes, I 100% agree. I said like many times he should just bump up the price, but he hasn't- Oh, I have the farting rose now. Okay, there we go. Let me guess, next up is the axe that will be evolved. So usually at 10 minutes you want to evolve Hirachi, and then at um, 13 minutes you- Oh, there's Clocklands, nice. At 13 minutes you want to evolve the cats, you know? And I kind of failed here. Oh, how much experience did I get here? Oh, that was a big one, wasn't it? Oh, that was a really big one. I ah, sure, that's just, that's just max out everything. Wait. What is the last weapon that I want to have? Oh. I don't think I consider that I need another weapon. Oh, what are you doing there? Okay, well there we go. Oh, uh, I thought it was Smith. We played on Smith and with 9 HP I figured we would just spend like 2 hours playing here, you know, until we get the X done. So I said I'll do one hurry mode, the double speed, and whatever gold I get we'll put that on the Smith. And then he will just do the trick for us, right? Yeah, come on, evolve, like, do, nah, nah, mm, sure, whatever, let's just max out everything then, because this will eat up my experience. Why are you walking? What? He was walking. Okay, interesting. Uh, what did you evolve into the rose? Bloody tear and the uh, new weapon. I I don't know its name. It's too difficult for me. Watching Dex live makes me so much uh, feel better about my play. I constantly forget what items to grab. Dude, I forget this. I I did like I don't know how many gold runs, and in the last ten or so twenty, I didn't take empty tome anymore because it does nothing for me. And, like, I do it again now, and I immediately take it. T t completely stupid. Is Bugnada the best character to buy all golden eggs on? Yes, no, no. So, it's yes if you just want to have some fun with high stats. If you want to have optimal farming for the long run, go for Red Death or go for Mr. Smith. The reason- I oh my god, you really give me this as the last weapon, the Ferrochi. Really? Really? Ah, whatever. So, look at look at this death spiral, by the way, if you can see it. Do you see the death spiral right now? It's so ginormous, and if you just pick, for example, like, the moment you get Slash, it will just kill everything on the screen. You don't even need that. So, it will just screen wide kill all the enemies, and you don't need to do anything for the rest of the game. You get your Gatia Mari, and you evolve it. Okay, that's sure, you do that, but that's it. 
And this is why Red Death could actually be way, way better than Pugnala. Now, Pugnala has the advantage that she starts with the double gun and she gets 1% might per level up, but might also caps out at 900%. So, you know, like it helps you to, for the farming process, but eventually it won't help you anymore. And the reason why Agent Smith would be so amazing is once you have enough area, the Vandalier hitting the ground will kill everything on the floor with every single shot. And it does a lot of shots, you know. And it just keeps shooting. Why are X projectiles so big? Um, well, right now we have uh, 368 uh, area. And as I said, like, we are just grinding up a little bit of gold. We'll put all of the eggs then on... Oh, there's, there's, there's a chest, finally. Okay. Look, look at this new Ferracci, I love it. Because before, the, the revivals weren't applied, but now they are. Oh, beautiful. Be can you stop shooting the... Thank you. Beautiful. Wonderful. Oh, wait, do I need another boss? Wait, I need a level up. Where's the experience? Oh, no, no, I need a level up. Where's the boss? Down there. 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 Let, let's kill the drowner. Um, and he will also give me a chest. There we go, thank you. Okay, now I need a level up. I need some experience. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. But this will be a lot more calm the moment we get on normal characters, you know. So don't worry too much. Once we go back to Agent Smith, after we got initially some gold for him, this will be a lot easier. And better to see visually. It's it's just a little bit crazy right now. Okay, I'm looking for a lighter. I don't really want to use the one that I have in my... ...pants right now. Where's my lighter? It's gone. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted experience. Uh, did you turn all the experience already? It must be over here somewhere. <clears throat> the problem is at this point, it's so efficient in turning experience. Oh yeah, lightning ring. I wanted lightning ring. There we go. It's so efficient at turning experience that there's barely anything left. Do you see that? Like, I just walked around for like two minute farming and it just turned all the experience. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Hey, greetings back to Belgium. So, we hit 500k now. This is one of the worst runs I had in a very long time, gold farming wise. But yeah, I was unfocused and I went for the whip. I shouldn't have done that. Like, I maxed it out. It's fine to go for the whip, I think. As long as it actually explodes the enemies. But it was just bad. Okay, let, let me get the chest here. No, I walked through the chest. There we go. Which level are you? Five. Where are you? Over here. Oh, 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 tickle. Wow, I have so much luck and you didn't give me a triple chest for this. Sure. Guten Abend, Galivio. I can only imagine Dracula watching this uh, tornado of death and being like, nope, not dealing with any of that. <laughs> yes, I agree. I can imagine. Come on, I just walked through all the experience. Just give me one more level. <clears throat> Please. There we go, okay. So let's sit here. We just have to wait for two and a half more minutes. Then I'll put all the eggs on Mr. Smith. Agent Smith. Did I call him Mr. Smith or Agent Smith? No, it's Agent Smith, yes. And then we will see how good he will be. Or how bad. Depends. Like, it will only be like 50 eggs or so. It will not be a lot. Dex, how old are you? I'm 28. Hi, greetings to Philippines. C. Gabriel Villarias. Oh, that's an interesting name. Nice, but Tiragisu rare, like, uh, really rare, right? Yes, Tiragisu is the most rare passive weapon in the game, together with Skulomaniac. There are more rare active weapons. The, the bone, cherry bomb, you know, but now you can also buy them at the merchant, so it's like, ah, whatever. 
this weapon is also horrible. It, it, this, it doesn't seem like it does anything for gold farming. The, the new one. The, the, the thing here. Does the new character get an extra bonus? No. But he gets a bonus every single level. Egg aren't the important? Eh, it, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, Java Matis. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay here. If this game was paid to win, this would be a few of a whale, but it's three bucks. Yeah. Ugh, the entire topic with pay to win is for me a bit like, ah, eh, it's a headache. You know, I made recently a video about a game that you could consider pay to win, but for me pay to win is something where I, I feel forced to do it because otherwise the game is so bad that I have no other way of getting it right. Like just because I can do it in a single player game, I'm not talking multiplayer, in a single player game, just because I can do it doesn't automatically mean for me it's uh, pay to win. I don't know how it just went there, but there, uh, yeah. The, the thing was just, I evaluated the game as fine, and people were really against it having a shop where you can buy something. I'm using Poe. Yeah, Poe is amazing. Pure Pixel Chaos? I mean, it will tune down afterwards, hopefully. Remember when your gold record was around 20k and you were so high when you 21k? Yeah. I mean. I, I, the, the moment the first Arcana came out, I was like, yep, gold record runs are done. Because this will get absolutely crazy. And it is. It is. Hi, Inai. Greetings back to Indonesia. And of course, Axe or Whip was better. Uh, what's better? I definitely think a Death Spiral is by far the best one. Like, just look at Death Spiral here. Oh. XG Jimmy, also welcoming, uh, welcome to be a member. Oh my god, a godlike member. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, welcome. Thank you a lot, man. That you're enjoying your stay that much. Does it not stack with school? But, uh, or the Click Hero game you did recently? Yes. And the thing is, I totally understand the sentiment of people, especially after Diablo Immortal. And so... The, I don't think I got this across properly. The game that I showed off there is not released yet. It's not even early access or, you know, beta testing or so. I got a key specifically. J just myself. There, there's no other person that has access to it. Like, a few people have, you know. And that means you don't have a lot of people with different systems that tested it. And there were quite a few bugs in the game that had issues. So obviously, and this is understandable, people said, well... Um, they have pay to win element in there, and it's so buggy, all they want to do is a cash grab, you know? And it's like, I totally understand this, but it's not how I view it. Next, what's a gold record right now? It's not tracked. Uh, tra uh, tra Would be nice to have a breakdown of each weapon kill at the end, I agree. Well, thank you a lot, Mr. GG family. Thank you. Dude, I wish there was a button to just skip this entire thing. Wait, why am I still reviving? Oh my god. Oh yeah, okay, they fixed that. I just remembered that. Okay, um, um, quit. There we go. I, I'm not gonna go through that. It only goes up by 100. <clears throat> so yeah, Death Spiral was by far the best weapon. Damage-wise, but that is expected because its crits are so insane. Like, it's a ton of overkill. This thing here, the Fuvola Fav... <laughs> I'm gonna pay the person 50 bucks that names their child Fuvola Favalu. Okay? Okay? Show me the birth certificate and I give you the money. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, never again. That is horrible. Even Vicious Hunger did more than you. You're so pathetic. I guess it just wasn't hitting anything or so. I don't know. Uh, let's ignore Corridor because that one is just from the Stalker and the... Not the Stalker. Yeah, well, no, the, the Drowner and the Reaper. We don't count that one. Because that is highly inflated. But don't you have like 20 revives? Yeah, that's why I quit. It's not worth it. Okay, so we have 680k gold. That is... That is 120k less than I got on my last run I, that I did with Pugnala. Before I put the 600x in her. It still sounds wrong to say that. Okay, Agent Smith, now it's your time to shine. You will get some eggs, and then we check out what stats he has. Uh, over there. That feels so bad now. Okay, so, careful, might be loud. 
Well, it was fine. There we go. 71x. Well, it's, it's something. You know, it's something. Oh, uh, we have... Mm -hmm. Not a lot changed, did it? <laughs> well, it's kind of the same thing. Huh. I got 4% curse. Well, that's a checkpot. I got 1% might and I got 4% curse. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got a ton of cooldown though. Oh, that is amazing. Wow. Because cooldown is like way less. You get like 0 0.1 or so percent or 0 0.5. So that is a huge amount here. How did you buy all those extra fast? I have a macro. Got around 60k on Moongolo. Is there any uh, more I can get in my runs? Oh yeah, you can get by far more on Bonestone. But you need enough X to make it faster compared to the X that you can collect on Moongolo in 15 minutes. Or 7.5 if you just cut it down. Um, okay, so let's give this a try now again. Let's see if anything changed. What stage do I want to farm gold at? Should I stay on the Bonestone? I feel like Moongolo might still be the best one just to start farming. Or should we try out the... But that's only 4x. That will take so long. You know, guys. I'm not sure if I feel good about playing Agent Smith and getting like 20x per run. That will take so long. I don't know. I had the idea of doing it. And now that I think about it, I feel like we all would hate that. Everyone. Especially including myself. I'm hitting like 1.1 mil per run in Bone Zone with around 3,500x. No, you should get a lot more at gold there. Well, okay, it also depends on what you're doing. Yeah, I can definitely see why you're a tired evil Drago. I, I mean, feel free to go to sleep, you know. I appreciate that you're here. Mm, I can't seem to get much more like 80k on Bone Zone, even with Red Death. Um, okay, uh, you know what? Should we do a run without X on Red Death? On uh, Bone Zone? Just for the people that maybe started out gold farming? I don't know if that would be worth it. Uh, Dex, did you know that you can unlock Toasty on Bone Zone? Yes, you can unlock Toasty with every single Stalker and Drowner that is in the game. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's see how bad I am, because I haven't done this in a very long time. There we go. So, oh, did you still start with Disc of Gold? Yeah, you did. Okay, I have to think for a second what I always did. There we go. Okay, we want nothing of this, so I'll just banish, banish something right away. Since we are looking at stuff that is very, very rare. Um, okay, we don't want X, we want Lightning Ring. There we go. And then we... Oh, do we want to... The way I farm it, I don't kill the Red Death at the very end. Hmm, that might be bad for newcomers. Yeah, okay, l l let's let's kill Red Death at the end. Because it's a 5 additional X that you get. It's good for you guys. Uh, banish the cross. So, in the very beginning, and this is quite annoying if you just started out gold farming. Like, as I said, you can just go on Moongolo, you go on hyper speed. Well, that doesn't work if you're in the beginning. But you just kill the guardians, then you kill the three guardians that spawn at 14 minutes, and then you kill the death at the end for 12x. That's 120k that you can make in roughly 20 minutes of playing. You know, 20 minutes because it also takes time to select all the items. It takes time to actually kill the reaper at the end, like one and a half minutes. But if that's nothing for you, and personally this was the biggest issue for me, it was a huge downturner to, you know, just run around, collect 4x for, or 12x for uh, 15 minutes, and then I go into the next game, do the same stuff again. It didn't feel like I'm actually trying to play, it felt more like a grindy task. Uh, there we go. I'm so glad, glad they made killing death so easy. Eh, split view on that. I don't like it. I, I totally understand it for a normal player that it's enjoyable, but you know, um, one of the most exciting parts about this game was figuring out and seeing new ways of killing death. Um, and there are like a total of nine ways before the updates, you know. Now with the X, obviously everyone can do it. Um, like, even ignoring the, the infinite corridor. But it, it was quite amazing. You know, seeing stuff like Porta killing Red Death. That was, I think, the very first method that was found. 
Um, then Mortaccio killing Red Death. Uh, um, uh, what is its name? What is its name? The Big Booty Girl. Clarity killing Red Death. Then Christine killing Red Death. Okay, I mean, at one point there was also Missing No because of negative health, but you can't really consider that because it requires modding. And that makes it a bit, you know, not everyone wants to do modding. So you can't really name that as um, a method for people to do, unless you want to have it as an extra. In fact, if you're curious about that, you know what, before I start talking about this all the time, I have a video about the Reaper kill history. If you care about that, Leda is not included there. And I'll just quickly link it. You can open it in a new tab or you don't. Uh, and where is it? Oh, there it is. I'll just link it in the chat once. Only channel subscribed of what? Why can't I write in my own chat? That is always the same thing. There we go. But yeah, overall, a lot in this update has changed now uh, with the game. Like the Arcana that you want to take, I'm pretty sure the best one is to take one additional amount. And then to take um, Awake. Or I guess first Awake and then a mount, yeah. Uh, another option would actually still be Hellfire, I guess. Uh, let's vanish a bit more because I keep seeing the same stuff over and over again. So the way you keep yourself alive on the bone zone is you just collect these gold bags. Okay, a lot of people have problem with that, that they keep dying. Um, make sure that you have some bags around, especially at, um, where is it, 9 minutes? At, I think 7 minutes? It's very deadly and you might die if you don't have Farachi yet. So just keep a gold bag on the floor and then, you know, like this, and then you just wait and you pick it up the moment you start losing health. Oh, that's amazing. I will banish this, by the way, so I have to keep some banishes. I, in fact, I have to keep two banishes here. Because I also want to go for the Clock Lancet Evolution, since it is the better method of doing it. You get five additional eggs. Uh, well, that sucks. Here I have to skip because I need to rerolls for the right Arcana. Well, I can take one. There are two of them. There we have it again. Oh, okay, I'm doing something wrong. What you should do is whenever guns show up, max them out. They are your main killing method, but on Red Death it doesn't matter too much since he is very strong on his own. But but it's still the best thing to do. Okay, there's Fire Wand. So I'll get... F um, wait a second. This, 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 this. Yup. Gatti Amari, Fire Wand. Oh. You can't even take Fire Wand here? Ah, who cares? I'll not go for the Clock Lancet. So, usually in the beginning, I wouldn't go for Death Spiral on, you know, Reaper killing builds. There are still ways how you could do this, but I don't think it will be done here. Kent Labrador is good on its own. We don't really need it, but it's very good on its own. Oh. Well, I just realized because I now picked this one, this entire build doesn't work out anymore. Oh, that is very interesting. So I need Tiragisu. And I need Empty Tome. And I kinda would need Duplicator, because it's super good. Oh, that is interesting. So you would drop Spinach. Yeah, Spinach is the worst one, then you also drop the Fire Wand. And then you go for Laurel and for Clock Lancet. Interesting. Huh. Just because this one is so good. Very interesting. I guess I'll write an update comment on my current guide. But I have to check that out and see how it really performs. Can you uh, you can always die when you get Farachi, but then it's way too weak. It's horrible. I'm thinking about it right now. No, I, you don't want to do that. You lose way too many beams for that and damage. Like every single revival that you have is 10% damage on Firachi. That's It's too much, especially the beams. So your main goal when you do this is you want to kill the enemies as fast as possible and as many as possible, right? 
So if you lose beams, you lose coverage on the screen. And that means it will just take way longer to get that done with. Wait, does white death not spawn? Uh, what? Yes, Banktastic. In fact, I have a video uploaded. It's not published yet. Uh, but I have a video uploaded about two new lazy gold farming methods. And one of them is on the new map that you just go infinite. <clears throat> because you can just let it run overnight, right? Oh, I don't like seeing that. There we go. Empty dome, perfect. Uh, nope. And one thing you have to be aware of, you don't want to take curse early on. This is why I will need a banish to banish the ring down there. Um, curse early on just hurts how much you kill. It takes way too long to kill them and you will end up on less, exp uh, on less gold. Like even when I had around 1k eggs, uh, going full curse, like just all the rings and the arrows, would, was worse than going only for one ring. But going for zero rings, no, going for zero curse items, so no arrow, no ring, um, was the worst one, I think. Is the new update out or still the beta? It's still the beta. Dude, for some reason the run feels really slow. There we go. Have I really not seen Gatia Mari so far? It feels like something that I should have seen a long time ago. There's Tiragisu, very nice, so we got all the rare passive weapons. Yeah, that means no duplicator. As I said, I would just remove the fire wand. Or actually, no, you could just remove the lightning ring. Well, no, you have to remove the fire wand because you also need to remove the spinach. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, well, that's no, it's fine. It's fine. It, this golden thing here is just way too good with the stats that it gives. Got your Mari, there we go. Go fight kitties. No? Okay, don't do anything. So in a very good case, you would get everything very early. In my case, it was very late. So yeah, not so happy about that. Uh, let me check out everything that I have. Okay, looks good. So here we have Gatia Mari. It doesn't increase it by that much. It's only 24%, what? Oh, I gotta check out how much it actually gives and do a re-evaluation re of the entire thing. Just banish the last level of the gold, exactly, that's what I'll do. Just like with the ring, I'll also banish the ring. Dude, whenever I play Pugnala and I go into another, like, game with a normal character, it just feels so slow. It feels so ridiculously slow. So yeah, this is a 7 minute wave that I talked about, where you want to have gold bags around. As Red Death, it's not as critical, because look at this, I have 339 health, right? But if you play as someone else, I would have already died. So you just want to have a gold bag around, and you will see I'll heal a ton. Like a huge amount. Now do dodge the projectiles, the projectiles are quite deadly. I think each of them deals 20 damage or so. So even for Red Death, that is a lot. But as long as you just keep this on, it, it, keep this going, you should survive. I remember on Pugnala this was one of the most annoying waves here to deal with, but you get used to it. Uh, there we go, Empty Tome. Like, I got Empty Tome insanely late and that is not great. So I'm missing a lot of, of my... of my casts, you know. And of course not having Duplicator is also not great, that was a mistake, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, stone Mask just to keep up the... no, let's go for Candlepador. Just put him on 2 times speed. Yeah, but 2 times speed also only increases the progression timer, right? It does nothing else. Uh, guns? Oh wow, this, these I have to get the guns up. You want to evolve them right away at 10 minutes. Well, you have to run away from the stalker. Oh, I have... I, oh, I hate that. Oh, I totally forgot about that being a thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's deal with the stalker, I guess. 
it's such an amazing point. Like, the minute 8 is, by the way, super easy. Uh, it's such an amazing point once you reach the, in, like, enough armor and enough health regeneration that you can just tank the stalker. It's one of the best feelings ever. There we go, Hey, the sparrow. Wasn't there a boss? He's still there. You need both links, rings for lol. Yes, uh, for Clock Lancet, yes. And you also need to max them out. That's also very important. There we go. Oh no, minute 9 is the farm wave. Yeah, minute 11 is the one that was dangerous. I, if I said uh, 9, that was wrong. It's 7 and 11. But not 9, 11. And good. And really bad. So, yeah, okay. As I remember, like, I, I'm pretty sure I remember this right. What I always did is I went up to trigger the Guardian the moment I... I got Ferrachi because it's a very strong weapon to deal with him But once you have a lot of eggs, you will just trigger the Guardian right away the moment you walk into the stage pretty much You just walk up you trigger the Guardians you take their stuff once you have all the passive weapons and that's it Storm mass very nice This is just so good for farming it still feels amazing It's already a minor guide in the works uh, Those who haven't seen it yet I have a video uploaded about Mina, yes. In the very, very, very beginning, I show how to unlock the character. You know, for those people that just want to see the unlock, they can immediately see it. Um, all you have to do is... You go on the Dairy Blend. You take the Arcana that pulls in everything from the stage. You eat the cheese. Then seven werewolves spawn. It's very important that you actually kill all of them. If you run away, or if they get tackled away out of the screen, they will despawn and it doesn't count. Wow, that was close. So, and after they all die, you will unlock Minna. Um, there we go. Are the guns maxed out? Wow. Dude, don't unpause while I don't have my fingers on my keyboard. I'm you, but faster. Oh yeah, and on this wave you really need to get the, uh, keep the gold fever going. If you have a character that has way less health than Red Death, you need to be like make sure that you always have that going. Man, it feels like it's so long ago that I did my first gold farm guide on this stage. But it wasn't, it was like two weeks or so. It, it, maybe even less. Oh, but he doesn't take damage, right? L let's check this out if he takes damage. We wanted to know that. No, he doesn't take damage. He would also take knockback then. Yeah, there you go. He doesn't take damage. Okay. So that was just bugged on my Pugnala. That he would stay around this long. Yeah, he is now gone. That was just a bug. Okay. Good to know. Okay, now this guy needs to die. It's, it's very common that they take ages to die in the very beginning if you don't have a lot of damage yet. Now let's go for sim uh, spinach. Spinach again. Uh, you don't use Pugnala to farm here? Yes, I do. Uh, that was just a question. Like, because there are a lot of new people also in here that never... Uh, did any gold farming just how you start out gold farming and I said moon Gullo, just egg farming like killing the the guardians it gives you a total of seven eggs with the mini guardians at minute 14 and um, Then killing the red death gives you 12 eggs right 1 and 20k in around 20 minutes is very good So that is by far the best way of doing it But if someone doesn't want to do that they want to actively play instead of just running around and it's like a grocery checklist, right? Uh, they want to actually fight and play on the bone zone, then I'm just showing how you do this want, as long as you don't have eggs yet. Uh, so there we have a wake. E yes, I value this by far the best as the best one. There we go. That means I could also use my rerolls now. Okay, there, there's this one. 
Now I'm gonna trigger the guy up there and I will go for Clock Lancet. However, because I don't have Laurel, there's a high chance that I'll not be able to kill the Reaper at the end. It will rely on some luck how I hit him, pretty much, is the thing. Usually you would go for Laurel, but I completely missed that. And what I would advise you, if you're just new and tuning in, um, because it's 50k gold, right, that you get from the eggs, uh, is you don't take a Fire Wand, you don't take Spinach, you take Duplicator instead, and up here you take Laurel. Um, oh, I can't banish the Curse item, though. Wait, what am I doing? There. So that means I don't want to pick up the yellow ring. Because curse is actually bad for you. You get less kills there. Okay, there's Clock Lancet, nice. Yeah, and this one also banished, there we go. Mm, spinach. Because you're just way too weak. Um, the, the thing that is very important to understand is no one cares about damage in these runs in gold farming. What you care about is you want to have as many kills as possible. So it's great if you have weapons that deal like 5000 damage per hit, but if the enemies only have 50 HP, but you kill like 10 times less, because you know you just deal more damage, but um, it's way just overkill and it's a slow weapon, it's not worth it. You mostly want to have reliable weapons, Firachi is by far the best one, uh, Lightning Ring is also in general very good, Death Spiral is super good, Hellfire is amazing to blast off the strong enemies later on. But its impact is very significant in comparison. Like starting off I actually think, I believe Hellfire is better, One, like the moment you start off. But once you have more luck and the crits on Death Spiral become more guaranteed, and it's a ginormous Death Spiral, it's better because it doesn't shoot all into one direction, but shoots it all around the screen. Do you know how many beams are maximum for Firachi? 27, um, 4 is the base, 10 is from a mount, that's just capped out, 10 is from revivals, and if you then take the arcana that gives you plus 3 amount on your main weapon as Pugnala, then, wait, yeah, there we go, then you have 27. If it's not Pugnala and you still take the arcana, then it's 25, because it's plus 1 for all the other weapons but the main one, and, ooh, guardian, stop that. And if you don't take the arcana, then it's 24. I kinda want to kill this guy here. There we go. So, am I evolving the cats? Yes, perfect. Well, maybe not perfect, they are like the number one guardian killer. So, losing that, nah, but it's fine. Will just be a very big annoyance to run around him. Thoughts on new whip? It's a very strong weapon. A very, very strong weapon. But I'm not convinced that it can really keep up with the other weapons in the game. Yeah, that is that is probably a very good summary for it. Dude, this is such an amazing farming wave. Uh, there's a ring over there. So as I said, I don't want to pick it up. I keep it on the ground since I need to max it out to evolve the Clock Lancet later. Oh, uh, but I should actually pick it up, shouldn't I? Uh, but it's so much worse to have that. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'll wait until the enemies become more tanky and then I'll pick it up. The, the, like the problem is really it puts the enemies on a threshold of HP that you can't kill them anymore as quickly. And since you don't have cooldown reduction bonuses in the beginning, the the infinite corridor doesn't go off often enough. What am I missing? Uh, just three of the rings. Let's do that. Wow, the cats actually picked up everything. That's annoying. Oh, there, there's another one. Is this a big one? No, they they picked up everything. Hi Calimero Dan, doing good and you? Is Agent Smith a real character? Yes. Isn't it just plus one for the listed weapons? It's plus one for all the listed weapons, but your main weapon gets plus three. The one that you start with. 
So if you start with Death Spiral, it's um, it, it's plus three. If you start with Thunder Loop, it's plus. Wait, actually, I wonder if it always gives every. We can test this. Let's test this after this one. We'll just take a weapon that has an obvious amount to it, you know. Oh, ah, careful. And then we will just take the Arcana and see if it has plus three or plus one or plus zero. So it must be a weapon that is not listed there to check that out. Yeah, that is actually a good question. Does playing one of the characters that start with Bone Cherry and so on get uh, plus four, three? Uh, yes, because it's a starting weapon. Oh, plus four, plus three. Another very good question. I would expect it's only plus three because it gets overwritten. But that is worth a test. Yeah, I'll also test that. Good morning, Jenny. Now, dude, it's so it's worth it. It's really worth it. Did did you already play on the beta? I mean, what else do you do at 4 a.m. in the morning? Plus four, I believe. Are you sure about that? Um, okay, could also be because of the nature how the game works. Yeah. Yeah, that could also be. It, it all comes down to how the checks work in the code. Whether it just checks if it's a starting weapon right now, and then it does a second check and checks, is this one of the list of the weapons you know? But the, the consecutive checks only happen if, the, like, the first one doesn't work. And the other option would be, it just does all the checks and applies all of them at the same time. Dude, can you just finally die? There we go, one of them is dead. I got Vampire Survivors updated to the beta. Oh, uh, oh, what happened there? Thank you. What? Oh! Oh, right! Oh yeah, oh, I'm done! Oh, I didn't even... Oh, okay, nice. Mm, sorry, I got various updated to beta booting up the laptop right now. Yeah, no, it, it, it's again a great one. It's a very short one, but it's the stage 5 that appeared is only the first iteration of the stage, which means in the future it will change again. Like, it will look... It, it, there's something... He will do something. And I, I found a couple of very interesting things in the code. Scary things. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, this is a dangerous wave. There we go. Once you have the gold fever, it's safe again. You just need to make sure that you don't run away too far, that the gold can actually catch up with you. Could you please die? I, I just took the wrong one. Dude. Ah. After getting used to the comfort of the Pugnala, once you have a ton of eggs, it really sucks going back. It feels so boring. It was a surprisingly hard stage. Yes, definitely. I agree. Um, it's. I think it's not a hard stage if you try your best. But in my opinion, everyone is used to the stages being relatively easy, right? So you don't expect this. Uh, the, the main issue being, of course, that you don't get a lot of experience. Okay. Wait, so how many secret characters were added? Two of them. Uh, having the Toronto follow me? Yes. Uh, just that you know, there is a specific spot where there are rosaries. Um, I think three of them in total. And you can just pick up a rosary at five minutes and blast off the drowner when he's on your screen. Then you can pick up the next one to blast off the stalker at ten minutes. It's, ju it's just a bit easier, you know. And then you can pick up the next one at, I think it's, oh my god, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, wherever the trickster spawns, it's the pink uh, reaper. Uh, so I can't see anything because I struggle running into items and chests. Yeah, 
The nice part is once you have enough eggs in them, you just start running through the, all the walls, right? So that's actually quite funny. Like if the game lags too much and you just start uh, skipping through the walls, which really helps walking through Gallo Tower, <laughs> because you just keep walking forward. So how long is the freezing time on the clock lancet right now? It was around 47. Okay, let's see what happens next. Drowner, you're really annoying. Like, ch just stay away. There's a pink reaper, why am I not surprised? Yes. <laughs> Wait, that was only like 14 seconds. That was not a very long time. Huh. So at 26 minutes, I uh, roughly, uh, but I'll see what spawns because I know them better by, you know, visually. Oh no, no, don't die on the chest. Don't die on the chest. Move away from there. No, don't die on the chest. Where is he? Okay, he's over there. Yeah, so I'll pick up the ring and then I have to hope that there's enough experience on the floor and I'll use the chest to max it out. Are the enemies pushing up and down the trunner? Yes, exactly. The blue one. The blue reaper. I, I first under- like, I, the first thing that I thought that you meant was if the enemies are pushing the drowner up and down. <laughs> you know? Uh, so where's the new arcana? Every two minutes? No, that's not the one. There it is. So the character's main weapon and its evolution gain plus three amount. Wait, we can just check this here, right? So we have plus one amount, we have the death spiral. The death spiral has... Death Spiral. The Death Spiral has an amount of 9. So after this, we should have an amount of, well, here we have 10. So either it's f uh, 14 or 13. There we go. Oh, that's really hard to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so it doesn't double apply it. Uh, that's very good to know. Those, yeah, I'm pretty sure those are 13. Right, I'll try to stop it again, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's one stuck behind there. Yeah. Okay, 13. Good to know, good to know. Thoughts on the ba uh, characters updated sprites? I think they look amazing. Doesn't the drowner spawn at 10 minutes? No, he he moves up at 10 minutes and starts following you aggressively. But before that, he already um, comes slowly towards you. But you really have to stand still to notice that. Otherwise, you won't experience that. And that's why I just nuke him at 5 minutes, that he doesn't bother me. No, the Arcana says... Oh, does it say instead? Well, that solved it already. That makes it very simple. Hi, Jakob. I'm doing good, and you? So we are just finalizing this run, but as you can see, this was a non-act red death. And we will go... What you could also do is you could run around and kill the other two guardians, but you might have seen it's really annoying to do that. Um, it takes a very long time. You lose out on gold that you would have gotten by just standing still and keeping the... Uh, Chikamalik going, the gold fever, you know? So I'm not a big fan of doing that. I just prefer to take one or two, depending on what I aim for, and then I do nothing anymore and just chill. I actually prefer the old ones because they look more retro. I understand what you mean, but personally speaking, I like the, the 3D models. I'm a big fan of that. What I want to see is, you know what would be amazing? If he would offer um, an, like an option to go either retro or 3D version or so, you know, that you can just choose. That would be great. Oh, yeah, 23 minutes these guys spawn and they are really annoying. I totally forgot about that being a thing. You have to keep killing them and at 24 minutes you just walk down once so all of them die and they are not around anymore. Your Ferrachi will not kill them so they just stack up like crazy and take away all the spawn cap. Um, ouch. Where's the ring? There. Are these already tanky enough that I would want to have the clock lancet? I don't think so. Uh, 
Why why do I even want to pick up the clock lancers? Uh the ring. Right now. Yeah, I don't understand my logic there, what I what I had in mind. Like what's the reason why I wouldn't want to do it at the very end? Weird. It doesn't help you enough that it's worth giving the enemies 50% more curse. The clock lens at Evo, the problem is it doesn't go off, um, it doesn't go off often enough. You will constantly lose your gold fever. Yeah, no, to kill the reaper, yes, but for some reason in my head I said 26 minutes. But like, there's no reason to wait until 26 minutes, I can just wait until 29 minutes and 30 seconds or so. Ah, uh, in fact, on 29 minutes I will actually not kill anything anymore. There's a high chance I will not even survive the 29 minute wave. Because with this build, you don't have anything that is defensive. So, yeah, that might end up happening. Like, as you might see, the only reason why I survive is because Gold Fever is going, and the moment it's gone, I will start losing a lot of health very quickly. So, I just rely on the, the ice picking up another gold bag. Picking up another gold bag. Now, if this was a normal character, keep in mind, 339 health, right? Normal character has 133. The, the normal character would already be dead. Well, you would have moved around. You wouldn't have waited there. Wouldn't 27 or 28 be better? That only depends on how many kills we still get. Now, at the top right, you can see we actually get a decent amount of kills, and that's the only reason why I survive. If we now take curse, and the enemies become so strong that I only kill them whenever the uh, the clock lancet goes off, then it doesn't help me, right? Yeah, it's a really close call, I gotta say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, there- oh my god, you just scared me. Yeah, like, the, the, the thing is, Ferrachi is killing most of them, but Hellfire finishes them off. And giving them one quarter more HP is quite significant. Or one third more HP. Hi, Teichkind. But it's also speed, like whenever you clear them with Hellfire, then they just follow up, right? Like if you give them more curse. I'll do it on 29 just so that I don't mess it up. Because one concern is actually that there's not enough experience around to max it out. I left the chest here so I can pick them up and help it with maxing out. But in the worst case, it's only two levels, right? Oh, oh. Huh. Not having duplicator is the main issue here. You would have more Hellfire projectiles. And I'm, I'm actually undecided about the amount Arcana. Yeah, I'm not sure. I would need to do way more testing, but I'm honestly done testing with the gold guides. Oh, that's a boss. Hello there. Is the bouncing Arcana good? It's worse than what it looks like because you have to re remove another arcana. That is the main issue. And later on the problem will be that you um, that you could take a better arcana instead. Wait, didn't I say that again? No. What I meant is the sec Okay, the first one is you have to replace another very good arcana for it. And the bad part is you will have so many projectiles on the screen that the game won't give you more projectiles. Like every single weapon has its own limit. Isn't Slash still really strong? Slash is very strong, but what if you don't have a lot of luck yet, it doesn't help you too much, because only some of the death spirals will kill the enemies. Early on, in my opinion, in my testing, the best one is Heart of Fire, by far, before this update here. And now I'm just testing out the amount arcana over here, to see if that works properly. But I, again, as I said, I made a mistake, I went for Spinach and uh, Hellfire, and instead I should have went for Duplicator and LOL. And with Duplicator we would have had more projectiles, but no Heart of Fire. Which means it would have been easier to kill these enemies. Well, harder than we do- oh my god, please pick up, please, please pick up. Hey, pick up a gold bag. Um, if, if you're missing a gold bag, what you can do is go up and go down. Since there- yeah, there, there we go. Since there are some of the breakables that the Ferrachi can't break. They are really far away at the very furthest away border. So if you just go slightly up, go slightly to the left, go slightly to the right, go slightly down, you should pretty much near immediately get one. Where are you from? I'm from Jump. Uh oh. Oh. 
Germany. Oh, why did I do that? I heal more with the gold. I need to find the ring. Where's the ring? I think it's over there. Yeah, come on. Um, is there the ring? I, I, I don't see the ring. Well, that's not a problem I expected, I gotta be honest. What? I, uh, oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, th th that was definitely not a problem I expected. I should have paid a bit more attention. I was talking at the moment. So this is a really bad because I lost a revival for the Red Death. Again, usually you would take Laurel. With that you're more than fine and you can also evolve it, but it's not even needed to evolve it. You survive long enough with it. Um, but yeah, this was a big mess up. Like a very big mess up. There we go. Now I have to keep one chest for the evolution. That means I need to get two more levels. One more. Don't tell me my, my eyes took all the experience on the floor. Now nah, there's a lot. Perfect. And healing, 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 and healing. Oh my god, how long will this go on? Why can I not use my mouse cursor to move? What? There we go, okay. Yeah, I, I totally overslept this one, by the way. I, as I said, I should have done this at the very beginning of 29 to do this. It doesn't go off as often. As you can see, it's really rare, but it just helps you overall. That he sniped me here is already a bad signal. There's a... What? Why do I start at 2500 gold? What? Um, screenshot. And taken. The first one should read 500. J just for you to know. Um, vampire survivors. Bugs and technical issues. Um, first death results in 2500 instead of 500 on beta. There we go. Okay, well, that is, um, let me try to get some level ups here. That is very interesting. I wonder what the, uh, really, you got me again right as you got frozen? Yeah, and now it goes in increments of 100. I wonder if the next one will do the jump from 600 to 800, or if it will jump in, it just in 100s, because it's not supposed to give more. Wait, isn't this from the last game, from Pugnala? Wasn't this the value where I stopped? Didn't I stop Pugnala at 2000? Like, I escape and quit, and now we got the plus 500 on top of it. I would need to check that out. Dude, are you kidding me? Can you not freeze for once? Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, we will not kill him. Didn't you die once already? If you die before the 30 minute mark, it doesn't give you bonus gold. Weird. Okay, yeah, it's doing the normal chumps. That is 1,100, but with a bonus of 2,000. And the next one should be 3,500, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you would have needed Laurel, but you can also see, right? If you had Laurel, this is more than enough to get to 31 minutes and 30 seconds. Like, way more than enough. Yeah, there we go. 3,500. And the next one is 1,600, so 3,000. He got frozen immediately. Look, he he does it. It's only this dude that doesn't want to. Let me try it. Let me. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. And yeah, 3,600, right? Yeah. And the next one would have been 3,800. That is weird. That is that is what you usually get plus 2,000. So yeah, that that is the run. It, it was really not optimal, but it it's it's decent, I would say. Yeah. Oh. Anything you guys want to do? Do we want to go for a fun run or something? I'm honestly up for everything because I also don't know how much you have played and how much you're tired of the new characters and not. Uh, the, the name is fake, by the way. I edited this. It's just Smith the Fourth. But I like Agent Smith.
By the way, thanks for your video to how to kill a Reaper. I killed it before last update with Ra uh, before last update by with Rings Gun. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, good job there. How to get Smith? Um, I have a video uploaded on that. I would recommend you going. Wait, actually, no. It's actually very simple. Usually, I just say go to check out the video, but I'll explain it once. You're on the main screen. You type in spam. Then you go on start. You type in spam. Then you go on confirm. Then you go on here, you type in spam, then you go on whatever zone is selected, you just click on get, it doesn't matter. Then you type humbug, there you go, H-U-M-B-U-G, and then you'll unlock it. That's how it works. You might need, to, to unlock him, you might need to have Toasty and X there. Someone said they needed both of them. Stage 5, 30 plus, min plus gold farm? Yes, correcto. Uh, which if I... There you go. Uh, display capture. There. Video is uploaded to that uh, for the infinite farming method and for the egg hunt, but I have to make a thumbnail, I have to make everything, you know, so it will take a bit until I have that. But uh, correcto. Oh, did I never save the draft? Oh. Oh yeah, I did nothing on the video so far. Oh wow, Dex is very lazy. Um, because that, that means YouTube is also not checking the video, which is bad. Add card. Ugh, I'll do that later. We don't need that now. Private, save, done. Uh, for me, uh, wait, what word? Spam? Yes, yeah, spam. S-P-A-M. I still don't have Toasty. Um, Toasty is super easy to get nowadays. All you have to do is, like, I, I think the easiest one to do it is... Hmm. Is it Gallo Tower? Probably Gallo Tower at 25 minutes. You could also do it on the Bone Zone at 20 minutes, because Drowner also works. Stalker and Drowner both work. Dairy Stage is... Dairy Blend is just meh. Oh, and I was told that here, it also works for Toasty on the Capella. And they spawn at like 5 minutes, right? So yeah, actually pa Capella would be the easiest one. Test the mount character to see if it's plus 3, plus 4. Oh, we just tested it. It's plus, uh, it's plus 3. We just tested it on Red Death. Wait a second. Or, or it's actually smart. Wait, I have to check something out. Amount Arcana? Oh! Oh, okay, 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 I understand. Okay, how would we check that even? Okay, how many, how many, how many, how many balls do you have? Show me your balls. Two, okay. Thank you, Panda. Now, show me your balls again. Is it five or six? Five. Okay, it, it does work as you would expect it. But I also understand why you would think that a double applies. Right now I'm watching Matrix. It's crazy, the Agent Smith. Dude, Matrix is such an amazing movie. I love it. It's amazing. Don't have Toasty. Oh, it's, it's, it's simple. You, you can unlock it quite easily. Um, I honestly gotta say, I feel really sleepy and tired because I was awake until like 8 a.m. doing videos. I would have loved to stream a bit more, but I think I'm done so for today. I will upload the gold farm guide. I also have a new game. Um, maybe I can quickly show that off because it looks really good. Uh, where is it? Halftime Heroes. I got a key for that. And so far, I saw it has a store, but you don't buy anything in there for real money, okay? We are all good. We are all good. So, I'll do a video on that, because it, it looked very interesting and good. Um, but yeah, for now it will just be update content. For this one, I don't know if I want to make a no movement challenge. For this one, I definitely don't want to make a no movement challenge. For the weapon, I definitely want to make an infinity weapon. That is given. Like, that weapon is just amazing to do it with. But maybe the evolution and not the basic form. But that will be a lot of fun. But yeah, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you the next time, and goodbye.